Welcome back. The Lewis and Alterna Cardinals hosting third-ranked Caledonian boys basketball. The Warriors haven't even gotten the eye black off their face yet. <laughs> they won the prep bowl a week ago. Noah King still finding Eli King. The two look like they're just playing around in the driveway. Look at this, Mark. Noah to Eli. This time the dunk. Eli's got some hops. He also got himself a tee. It's 51-22 Caledonia early in the second half. Cardinals kept plugging away. Gunner Reed with a nice little move in the paint for two. And then off the turnover, Colin Bo Bono. Bono takes like it all away. Yeah, <laughs> was a rock star on that. But this is all Warriors in their first game of the year, as it's 92-63 uh, is your final score. Herber and Schumacher each had 21 apiece as the Dogs beat the Gophers 71 to 38. Elsewhere in the Three Rivers tonight, Dover Yoda 62-58 over Wabashaw Kellogg. La Crescent 78-53 over Rushford Peterson. Zach Todd had 32 points for the Lancers in that victory. Lourdes 71-56 on the road. Colin Mead had 27 to pace the Eagles. And Mr. Silkowski had 22 points in ZM's win over Choff. A lot of scores tonight. Lanesboro 65-33 over Mabel Canton. Couldn't track the Kingsland score down. Grand Meadow at home, 51-40 over Lyle Pacelli. In overtime, Spring Grove 63-58 over the Houston Hurricanes. And ninth-ranked Hayfield playing over there in the Gopher Conference, 76-45 over All right, back in town, Century Panthers hosting Owatonna. Both teams going for their first win of the season, Panthers first on the attack. Senior Steven Olander off the bounce pass gets it to go with the hook shot. Century in front two. Huskies playing from behind. Check out the sophomore Evan Dushek, the biggest guy on the court tonight, capitalizing off the offensive board. There he gets the bucket. Later, the big guy comes back in clutch again, this time for the tie. A little bounce off the rim, but it's good to go as it's any man's game. But Century comes right back with the answer. Senior Dante Graff. Oh. Parked in the corner for the tray. It's on the money as the Panthers take back the lead. They pull out their first win of the season with a 70-54 win over Owatonna. Elsewhere, Northfield, they beat Red Wing by 14, 79-65. We have one more page of scores here coming up. Albert Lee with a win on the road at Faribault, 72-48. Pat. Hey, Cotter's Pat Bowling got his 602nd victory last night. Tonight, Cotter back uh, at it against Fillmore Central. Ramblers can gun away. Mary Morgan, she's not shy. She'll let it fly from beyond the arc. She got it. Fillmore Central works the ball inside. Candace Sinking, the senior working hard down there, gets her second attempt to go. Morgan likes that spot on that left wing. You can tell she shoots in the offseason. Morgan with another triple, and she's only a sophomore. She's not the only one that can drain it from beyond the arc. Sophia Sancork, look here. She's going to let it fly. And that's another three for Cotter. So that's 603 wins and counting for Pat Boland. 68-45 is the final. Boy, a Donnybrook, they, that's an old term. Uh, and St. Charles is Southland beat. The Saints 58 to 53. That was the final in overtime. Rushford Peterson, nothing in from the Crescent. PEM Chatfield didn't hear from Coach. That's unusual. 53 46. Lewis and Altura over Caledonia. Wabashaw Kellogg, Alma Pepin, nothing in from there. Nothing in from Leroy Ostrander. Lanesboro 53 48. Kingsland 68 67. The final over Randolph. All right, we head out to Byron. The Bears hosting ZM and an H. VL matchup, first half, Cougars down two. Natalie Dykes drives, and she gets the floater to go. That even the ball game early later. Byron with their response. Great pass from Paige Coleman to Sasha Vanderpool. The Bears took a four-point lead. Still in the half, check out this play from the Bears. Marvelous execution. Vanderpool swings it to Courtney Connolly. That is a triple. Bears up seven. But ZM would stick around in this one a little bit later. Again, it's Dykes driving and getting the jumper to go there for the Cougars. But ZM, they rally. They win this one 54-41 over Byron. Elsewhere, the sixth-ranked Tigers of Lake City. They go on the road, put a beat down on Pine Island, 77-42. One last pager. Stourville with a win on the road against Kenny Wanamingo. I think it was 12 players scoring there for the Tigers. They win 78 to 44. Now staying in local sports open now in Rochester is a new athlete performance based gym called ETS Performance. It's located here in the north part of town on Bandel Road and caters itself to high level 
collegiate bound athletes. This is not your typical gym. Athletes come in to get a one on one evaluation and then the staff led by former JM Rocket and Golden Gopher Jake Kirsch develop a tailor made program designed for each specific athlete. Our mission with ETS Wide is to give these kids an elite experience when it comes to their training. And so when you say like going to a commercial gym and kids are lifting or at the high school, they're not training. They're, they're showing up, they're doing things they're familiar with, but they're not being coached. And so here we give them hands-on experience um, in an unmatched training atmosphere every single time they're in. ETS is a company with several locations in the Midwest. It's co-owned by Adam Thielen, who used ETS to help uh, after his days at Minnesota State to prepare him for the NFL. So, Pat, the proof is pretty much uh, in the pudding there with him. Marcus Sherrills is also a part owner and plans on coming down a lot in the offseason. They will also have their grand opening event uh, the evening of January 19th. Both Thielen and Marcus will be in attendance. Then they said about 300 other people will be packed in there right. too. So <laughs> Jake, Jake still looks like he could. Uh, oh yeah, no, he, he definitely getting his curls in. A few in, things that's around, sure. huh? That's for sure. He's not. He's not skipping any of the workouts. <laughs> <laughs> Straight ahead, Holden Cruzmark joins us. He's got hoops and hockey highlights. We'll get you to Austin Adams, Winona, and Casson next on the X.